Okay, guys, so I'm working on a 2013 Mercedes C204. So, with this vehicle, I had a little pass run ins with it, replacing the uh, high pressure fuel pump. I did have some issues with this. So, I'm going to show you guys how beyond that problem. Um, I recently replaced the upper radiator hose down here it did leak out a lot of course um, the only reason why I'm replacing this hose is because it started to leak um, I would say I can't say I would blame the Mercedes dealership but they did have a role to play in it because they did um, do a pressure test on my coolant so when you replace the thermostat thank you for replacing it though it was really expensive um, they cost me over a thousand dollars a little bit more than that uh, about fourteen hundred so with that um later on I, you know it started spewing coolant so i wasn't sure where exactly where it was coming from i thought it was from here maybe the pressure on this cap coolant reservoir cap was bad so i replaced it, it was about 35 dollars at the dealership um you can find it online for a lot cheaper but i needed it right away um so I, that's what i did and noticed that um, more of the coolant was still going down. So this level would keep going down, keep going down. So on my dashboard, it would say that my coolant level was very low, so I would have to check it. So I did, and then obviously that was an issue, the cap was an issue, the upper radio hose was an issue, but it's new now, so I don't have to worry about it. These usually tend to you know, wear out over time. So I decided one day, you know, uh, just keep checking what under my hood so pulled over i noticed there was a crack here i noticed because it was started spewing liquid more but i did notice that there was liquid here but i wasn't really sure if it was really cracked from here or if it was spewing up on the coolant reservoir so who knows when i noticed one day that it started leaking from here i noticed bubbling noises i noticed there was a crack so when it's leaking here i decided to you know what let me try putting um some putties some little plastic rubbery putties so i did overnight uh let it sit there drove it to work um it started smoking so obviously it wasn't a good idea <laughs> because it was back crushing from all the coolant and i guess when it got too hot this rubberized um sealant was causing it to smoke there's possibility that the coolant was getting somewhere else uh, in a certain area where it was creating smoke. So What you guys want to do to replace that I did get the new part. I did purchase this on Amazon. It's a pretty cheap price um, What I would suggest is you guys get a flat head 8 millimeter close end, close end wrench ratchet uh, You also need a star bit um with the extension of course so that I did I do have a straw bar so of course that's different that's addition so I took that off uh, needle nose pliers long one you're gonna need the needle nose pliers to get down there so you're gonna have to pry these down and kind of wiggle it so I did that already most of the liquid just started to spew out a little bit so it's good uh, I did remove the bolts from each section so I removed it from there down below right here so I could wiggle this a little bit more leverage and so I did check that out from the top there is a bolt right there that you have to remove right over here which is this long one so I did draw a little diagram so I remember where each bolt goes so guys I'm gonna show you guys how to take this off so you want to remove this screw and a star bit screw right here I would suggest you guys get a, a set but this one this size is a TXC 25 I don't know if you guys can see that right there so I'm also using a ratchet which is this it is an E11 so when you guys do that so what you want to remove is remove pull this out pull those out as you wiggle the pliers out 
you also take this out using a flat head. So once you guys take that off, of course you put everything back together. So I'm gonna need my two hands to take this out. So obviously I got my phone and using it. So once you guys done, plug everything back in, pop this out of course, and that's about it. Put everything back together. So I got most of it out. Um, I did have to remove the other screw, which goes on to here. So it kind of moves out of place, which actually is in addition to this, the dipstick for the oil. So I was able to take that off. I wiggled this out from here, as well as from here, that section. So it was easier to take out that way. That way I can actually pull that out and put it onto the new piece, which is this one up here. Not this one, this one. This is for the coolant. So, now I just gotta remove this one. You just gotta pry it out with a flathead and just kinda wiggle it out. That's it. So once you guys are done, you basically put everything back in. There was one more bolt, which is down there. This bolt is for the top area, which is that. So the other one, that little bolt goes down there below, which connects to here. So I did remove a lot of other bolts as well as on here. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean all this up after I'm done. So when you guys are done, basically that's it. Put everything back the way it was. Uh, you got a new piece on, so that way it doesn't leak anymore. So hopefully you guys enjoy my video. I'm gonna have some more. I got a lot of videos on my phone, I'd say from other vehicles. Um, I just been so very busy to upload them and edit them. Um, well, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you guys got any other questions, let me know. And please subscribe. Thank you.